Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips here today, guys. I have the S24. And of course, if you have any device such as the S25, um, S22, S23, you name it, guys. Um, if you're having the issue where you are not detecting your SIM card, where you're getting an error on screen, there um, it might look like um, there's a pop-up or, of course, it might vary at times. I'll show you um, an example in the beginning. It might be like that, or it might be slightly different with less data, and it says no SIM card or no SIM card detected. Um, this tutorial will help you out. So, of course, you're going to get your SIM tool, and, of course, on your SIM tool, guys, um, you need a paper clip. Now, of course, if it's saying no SIM detected, and there is actually a SIM in the tray, it could be, guys, that you had an incident where you had dropped your device. If you drop these devices, um, in most cases, if they are not damaged, if you have a good case, Sometimes the SIM can shift inside of the cradle and it will cause an issue. So, of course, go ahead. This is the S24. Um, you can see here, be careful. Here is your mic and here is the um, SIM card slot slot. I usually can identify them by the um, gradient or the cutout that's around here. So I can tell that it is this hole that is going to open it. I place this at a very flat angle and I push. And of course, the tray will come out. And once the tray is out, guys, um, if you're having detection issues, what I suggest is that you totally remove the SIM card from its tray. So unseat it totally. So go ahead and unseat it. I suggest again that you get something to clean off the surface of the SIM card. So you can use tissue paper, you can use tissue, you can use um, absorbent paper. Simply clean the contacts. And once you clean the contacts, guys, go ahead once more. You're going to reseat the SIM card completely. Uh, if you simply take it out and place it back in, sometimes it will not uh, be fitted, especially if it had um, been um, moved around. So I suggest that you totally remove it from the tray and then eject it from its housing. And once you do all of that, guys, go ahead and carefully um, reinsert the card you can tell the orientation again based on the port so you can tell here because there's a hole all the way down on the inside of that cutout so you can tell the orientation it will not um, be inserted in any other way there's also a seal so you go ahead and place it all the way in and of course your device should start in a few minutes to show the carrier um, if you're having any issues you can also do a total restart or reboot and what i find is that once you do you should detect the um, network um, other things to consider as well make sure that the tray is not damaged and of course make sure that the port is not obstructed with anything and of course if you check all of those things where you're saying no sim you can also switch around your sims by trying a new sim card in case one is giving issues um, you might have a case of a damaged sim and you want to make sure also that the metal contact is solid and is not broken and of course, you want to make sure that you clean off the contacts because sometimes what that means is that it might be that it's not detecting or making perfect contact on the inside. So by cleaning the metal surface, it will help by fixing the issue by allowing for contact, especially in those micro sims. All right. So if you have any direct questions, I may be able to help you. So you may post your questions below. As always, Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye.